All right, all right, what's going on everybody? Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. Be sure to check the links below the video as we have all sorts of crazy promos and giveaways going on right now. But in this video, I wanna show you how to stretch carpet using a crab stretcher and why I think it's superior to the pain in the butt power stretcher. So check this out, we're gonna back up, back up, back up. All right, this hall, that wall, that wall, that wall, they're all set, locked on, stretched on. So we're gonna come over here now to the opposite wall. And this, my friends, is the crab stretcher, mini stretcher, a couple different names for it there. But check this out. Got our tack strip there. It's installed over a hardwood subfloor, and there's actually some sinker nails in it as well to make sure it doesn't come out. Let me get you a good shot of this here. So the back of this, see that plate there that's actually gonna hook onto the tag strip we got the handle here I like to throw my knee into it so it doesn't break the carpet that's gonna pull everything loose from this end of the room all the way down here so look at that you got a nice poofy poof going on right there hold all the slack down now I'm going to take my kicker and stretch all that slack right onto the tack strip there. So super tight, locked into place. I'm going to crease it on with my knife or stair tool, hook knife, whatever you're into. And then I'm going to come down about two, three feet, lock it on the strip again. Stretch it into place. See how loose that is? Pulled all the slack down here for me. Doing the heavy lifting. I'm gonna pull all the slack to the tack strip. Lock it on. And I'm just gonna continue moving down. Now once everything's stretched on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in. So all that stretched down right there, nice and tight, ready to go. You can take your hook knife, stair tool, whatever you might use to tuck with. Tuck it in the place, boom, you're finished. Then you just continue on down the walls and keep it going. So, for more tips, tricks, and strategies on how to go ahead and install carpet and build your small uh, service-based business, be sure to subscribe and click the links below. I will hook you up in future videos. Thank you so much for tuning in.